Hi there, welcome to chapter 28. In the meantime, I forgot what happened in the last chapter, so no recap this time. Uh, let's continue with the story then. Als ich den letzten Raum durchsucht habe, ist da plötzlich jemand gewesen. So they are uh, recovering from the attack in the cellar. So, just a reminder, a good strategy is always to look for the verbs and I've habe here. Uh, easily recognizable by its position in the ending, and durchsucht, because habe can appear on its own but usually has a partner. And durchsucht is not easily recognizable, but uh, if it was durchgesucht you would actually recognize it more easily, but uh, this is an uh, inseparable, so-called inseparable verb, and they don't use the GE. Yeah, you have something like besuchen, and the past form is simply besucht, not gebesucht. Yeah? or gebesucht, that doesn't exist. And this topic uh, will be covered sooner or later, maybe not in A1 or maybe at the end. So don't worry about it, just you've heard it now. So als, for you, most of the time that means when I the last, and you see the relation, last, room, and durch is the same as through, you see the TH, the U, the R, um, through, and suchen is to search. As we had the besuchen, which, uh, I which is what you do when you visit someone. So somehow visiting someone is related to searching for that person. So when, so have, yeah, so when I, well, to search through simply means examined, yeah. To, to search, also like the police can durchsuch on you, uh, they search you, they tap you down, right? So, is there, and the plot changed what? Suddenly, man, someone, and gewesen. Gewesen, well, we have the word wesen, which is being, yeah? And uh, so gewesen is the past form of being, so being. Yeah, it is uh, basically sein, which you know as ist or bin and other forms. So suddenly there was someone. Ich habe mich so erschreckt, dass ich die Taschenlampe fallen gelassen habe. Actually, habe fallen lassen. Yeah, forgive me. Uh, well, let me look at both. It's not completely wrong. Um, but this would be grammatically even better. Dass ich die Taschenlampe fallen gelassen habe. Doesn't sound wrong. But when you have three verbs, uh, it gets a little bit uh, different. Yeah? And you have two main verbs, fallen and lassen. And uh, that it normally causes habe, the auxiliary verb, to go before them, in front of them. Either way, so I have myself so Shreked, and Shrek was a horrible character, so um, Erschreckt simply is, I, I, well, what did I do? I got scared, yeah? Not sure how you would translate that, sorry. Yeah, I was scared, frightened. Scared is a better word, because you see the, you see the SC, in, in here, yeah, and you see how this relates to scaring. Shrek, scare is the same word, very likely, somehow. That I, the pocket lamp, have, have fallen let. And if we do it this way, uh, fallen let have. Yeah, so stick to this one, even though the text is in a different form, it's not wrong, but uh, this seems more natural. So I got so scared that I let fall my pocket lamp, my torchlight, and that simply means um, to drop. Yeah, here English is indeed a bit simpler. Sentence structure wise, English is a lot simpler, at least in most of the cases. 
Plötzlich habe ich einen heftigen Schlag am Kopf gespürt und alles wurde schwarz. Plötzlich, we just talked about, have I a, well, hefty, hefty, might be, um, well, it's also related to haft, which kind of uh, means sticky and uh, persistent. Now well, that's where it comes from. Like haften means to stick. So somehow it's a sticky slaughter. It's not a slaughter, but it looks like slaughter, slug. But the slug is basically a, a beat or a hit. And in Germany we have the word Schlager, which well, somehow is related to a hit. Uh, it's a very special way of uh, making music. It's uh, usually, it's, it's hard to put in words, it's very German. It's not folk music by no means. Yeah. But we have also the Herzschlag, which is the heart beat. Yeah, it's a nice word. So he got a hefty, a strong beat, or he actually spürt it. To spüren is to feel. We uh, went there before. It is related to uh, spur, which is a trace. And it related to, to um, how do you call this, with a horse. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's the spores uh, or something like that. When you hit your horse with your boots and they have these little things in the, in the heels. So it's related to that and that makes the horse feel everything. So he felt a hefty beat on his kopf, which is his head, and all and wurde is the only verb here, so it means became uh, Jason Schwarzman, so black. Das nächste, woran ich mich erinnere, war dein Ellenbogen in meinem Bauch. So these are two sentences we can, for the sake of simplicity, separate them. No, these were boxed in, but we can take them apart. So, das nächste war dein Ellenbogen in meinem Bauch. Das nächste, you might be able to already do this. Here, it simply is the next. Yeah, nech comes from na, which means near. And uh, the ste is the nearest, which simply means nächste. Yeah, so the next thing which we don't say was your Ellenbogen is the same in English L and the bow in my B L so this one was placed here so the woran is just wo and an and the wo kind of just works uh, that off, yeah. The un is not translatable, but off would be what I use here. Uh, so the next thing that, or of that, of which I myself remember. And remember, if you remember something, it is some related to your inner world. So the next thing that I remember was your elbow in my belly, my stomach. But belly is an easier word to associate with Bauch. Jemand ist im Keller gewesen. You can figure that out on your own, because we just talked about gewesen and Keller. Um, it's clear, the cell where we store the food and other stuff we don't need, which is the cellar. Ich habe gehört, clear, wie, remember wie, two meanings, two possibilities, how or like, but like doesn't work here, how he, the trap, which is the stair, and rauf simply is short for herauf, which means up, ran. Yeah, so how he ran the stairs up, but I have him not 
Und er Kant is not related to Können, neither to the philosopher Kant, yeah, who by the way is banned in the US due to his name. And uh, so, well, er means out of sometimes, or very often, and Kant comes from Kennen, and everybody knows Ken from Barbie, right? So it means to know. And if you don't know anyone out of maybe many people that you know, that simply means to recognize. So, but I have not recognized him. Yeah. So er and re also often, uh, inter like, you see the relationship, I hope. So he heard how the other person that knocked them out ran, up the, ran upstairs, but he, she didn't recognize him. Glaubst du, dass es der Nachbar gewesen As You figure that out, easy. See, you're getting more and more independent. That's lovely, right? Simone ist sich nicht sicher. Not too obvious necessarily. So Simone is herself not secure. That means, um, well, secure, short version, sure. So she's not sure. But in German that's sich nicht sicher sein or sich sicher sein. Yeah, that would be a kind of verb. Yeah? Possibly a verb. A compound verb, in a way. So she's not sure. Hmm, gut möglich. Well, that's that's possible. Gut möglich means I'm well, not sure. Let me see how it's properly translated. But uh, quite possible, well possible. Ah, oh, well possible. I did. I wasn't aware that that's possible. Yeah. Aber warum flüchtet er? aus seinem eigenen Keller. But, warum is was und um, but we shorten it and put the R there to connect that. Uh, what about, and uh, somehow that means why, yeah, or what around, why. Uh, flüchten is we fliehen, and that is somehow uh, fly, um, to flight, to escape. Yeah. Die Flucht is the escape. So here you have the relation. So why does he escape out of his eigen? Remember this? The G turns into W N own. Eigenen. Well, here the eigen is actually the own, sorry, my apologies. So you see this turns into W and the N stays. Eigen and the N is just grammar that you will pick up in the preachings and grammar lessons. Silla. Basement. This is for you, easy to translate, yeah, and to figure out that makes doch not a sense. That makes no sense. Yeah, remember das without a capital word following is 99% of the times. It's the for you 100%. Wir sind bei ihm eingebrochen und nicht umgekehrt. Wir sind bei ihm eingebrochen und nicht umgekehrt. So we are by, at, him, in, broken. So we broke in at his place. Yeah, by ihm, by mir means at my place, by dir, by at your place. So we don't need to say place. It's very clear. And not around turned. So that means not the other way around. Yeah, funny. So nicht umgekehrt. Umkehren means to turn around. Let that sink in. Sie klopft sich den Schmutz von der Kleidung ab. Wir sollten jetzt verschwinden. Well, let's take this one later. Sie klopft sich den Schmutz von der Kleidung ab. So here we have a tiny short word at the end. That means it very likely belongs to the verb. So we have abklopfen and up. Most of the time this is off. And klopfen. 
I might have looked up, I did. Well, it's the same word actually as clap. And that somehow, yeah, so if you clap your body to clean it, um, it turns also into knocking. Yeah, somehow klopfen and knocking uh, means knocking. Yeah, as klopft means uh, someone has knocked the door. So she's knocking or clapping herself the schmutz. Uh, it's the same as well, it is related to smut and uh, it simply is the dirt. And uh, if someone wanted to insult me as a child, they said schmutz to me, to me because my last name is Schmitz, which by the way means a little heave. I think it's like this, I'm not sure, maybe heave. I think like this, um, like a little smithing, yeah, from what, what a smith is doing, yeah, but I'm also fine with smut, no problem. And uh, so she's clapping that from the Kleidung. Kleid is actually a dress, but everybody's wearing Kleidung nowadays, so we're not wearing dresses here in Germany. Anymore, we are basically uh, as our clothes. So somehow the word dress became used more generally. Well, we still have uh, das Kleid, which is the dress, but the Kleidung is more or less the group of dresses we wear, and that includes everything else. Wir sollten jetzt verschwinden. You remember verschwinden, to become less and less. Somehow related to swindle, or at least it looks like it. Yeah, so we should vanish now. Nicht, dass irgendwer die Polizei ruft. Not that. That's a very common phrase, let's say. And irgend, I. I forgot where this came from actually, uh, but it means just some who. And that's of course someone, yeah, or anybody, any who. The police, and they call from the roof, call. It should be actually unroofed, uh, but we can shorten it because it's very clear that they are not standing there shouting with from the top of their lungs, yeah. But if I say I want to call you or I will call you, ich ruf dich an. Yeah, I would never say ich ruf dich. My, my wife will ruf me. Yeah, ich ruf dich, wenn das Essen fertig ist. I call you when uh, the food is ready. So not that anyone calls the police. In this case, it's really more any than yeah, any who, which is anyone. And the irgend you can put in front of any question word. For example, irgend wann. Any when or some when. It's always some, like not defined. Unser Einbruch war schließlich nicht ganz legal. Ja, Einbruch, you see here, is the same as before, and unser is our, and it contains the word us, if you take a look at this. Uh, so, in break was and schließen is related to schloss which you remember was to lock so but somehow schließlich means after all yeah after everything is locked up after everything is closed down so maybe that's a nice way to remember this after all not completely legal that was chapter 28 and hope you liked it and see you in chapter 29.